If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys need to be doing with your coins right now in Madden 21. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been getting tons of comments. Should I buy? Should I sell? Should I open packs? What should I do with my coins? Should I sell my coins? Should I hold on to coins? Guys, simplest thing right now. You're in a period, in my opinion, where you want to stack coins. Why are you stacking coins? So many reasons. Should you be spending right now? That's a hard question. If there's a good value, you sell. That's it. That's as simple as that. Like, if you see Aaron Donald for 180, I mean, sorry, buy. If there's, if you see one, uh, Aaron Donald for 180, okay, you can spend some coins. It's Aaron Donald for 180. If you see an end game type card like that, but right now, don't buy hype. It's as simple as that. You do not buy hype. Look at my coins. I got my coins up. My team. It's not. It's not solid. I don't have any team diamonds. I don't have any of that. Because it's as simple as this. We know a lot of things are coming, and we know they're going to be the best players. And nothing is worse than spending all your coins here, getting rid of them here, and then buying back up here. And I'll explain that all throughout the video, guys, so stay tuned for the rest of that. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the new boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and let me know down below what you guys have been doing with your coins recently, let me know your team overall. But guys, yep, aim for 30k by the end of September, hopefully, so if you're new, make sure you join the family, you won't regret it. And guys, I always, if you're looking for coins, go down below to the link down below, hit my reserve up. Use code Poodle at checkout. Super official website. Super official group of guys. Trust me, you won't regret it. Coin buying is way, way better than pack buying. I can promise you guys that. And, like I said, use my code. Helps me out. And you guys are able to get a cheaper price. But let's, have it, let's hop into this, guys. So, real quick. Why would you want to stack coins right now? So, let me give you guys a good representation of the market at this point in time. And I'll tell you exactly why I can already foresee the issues with the market. So, first things first. I start with the halfback. The halfback is one of the main reasons I'm not buying cards yet. A good halfback is so important to the game of mutt. Now, people say in real life the halfback has no value, but in the game of mutt, you just have to be a high overall halfback. Just a good halfback. The good halfback is everything you need. Everything you need in a good game right now is a good halfback. Now, Barry Sanders is dropping value. This is a prime reason of why I was telling everyone don't stack your team yet. Barry Sanders was 1.3k. People were buying him for that, and now he's 900k. Still super expensive, but you would have just lost 300k plus reduction. Now, that's not even the biggest thing here. The biggest thing is 88s, 89s. Chris McCaffrey's going for around 130 to 150, depending on the time of the day you do check on him. Now, I would love a Christian McCaffrey, but here's the issue Christian McCaffrey got an 85 speed, which seemed solid. But then you come on down and you check out work done, and he got an 88 speed. So, what does that tell you guys? That tells you that the base elite running backs are going to be behind the Team Diamonds and the Legends for the foreseeable future. And yes, that you know, it might not make sense to you guys, but pretty much every year they do this. Base elite halfbacks never, just never, ever, ever stack up to other players. Now, yes, big superstars and all that stuff, that's, that's not base elite. But base elite, and honestly, quite honestly, modern day running backs very rarely have the exact ability of a legend running back. And that's just a fact, guys. I'm telling you. Last year, best running backs. Marcus Allen. Bo Jackson. Saquon Barkley was the only running back that kept up to, like nit for nit the whole year with some of the best running backs. Christian McCaffrey was out of the loop. Ezekiel Elliott was out of the loop. Todd Gurley was out of the loop. It, it's just the way it is. Now, McCaffrey is 137 right now, and I believe he will probably... I believe, uh, guys, we're gonna get new legends now. Will we get a will we get a halfback first week? Maybe not. Most superstars. Will we get a halfback? Maybe Ezekiel Elliott, which will be better than this Christian McCaffrey. Again, I never invest heavily in basically running back. I feel like they're always just they're always just for show. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never invested heavily in any of the top base leads like DeAndre Hopkins, Michael Thomas. Guys, I'm just telling you. Unless you plan to power him up for the year, don't invest heavily in them. So like, if you know I want McCaffrey for the year, get him because that's fine. He may not be the best right now, but he will eventually be better. Uh, if you're gonna <clears throat> this few Aaron Donald, maybe like Khalil Mack, this few guys I invest in all year. Maybe Lamar Jackson, but for the most part, guys, like the, I know I spent a lot of time on that. But go over to wide receivers, same thing. You guys look here. You look at the wide receivers, and you're like, oh, Michael Thomas, best wide receiver in the game, maybe right? 125, too slow. Gonna gonna be kind of slow all year. 
better wide receivers already. Then you go over to a guy like Julio Jones may be the only wide receiver that I think would be worth it as a base to really invest in right now. A guy like DeAndre Hopkins, same thing. Devontae Adams not feeling it. In my opinion, you want to be stacking coins. Stack coins for when the bangers come. I wouldn't I wouldn't spend on this right now. Like, I think this time period is perfect to do these three things right here. This time period is perfect to do this. Play your solos and your and your seasons and grind out a ton of trophies and coins. Second, be sniping and investing. And three, if you do need more coins than you think you have, again, you can always go down below and buy some coins. Either way, you want those coins up. I'm telling you guys, you want the coins up because nothing's worse than this. This is what everyone does. And I see it all over Twitter. Now, guys that like YouTubers, content creators, guys who've been in the Madden community for 10 years that just knew, do this and they know how to handle this and they spend a lot of packs, they're out of this conversation because they are going to they're going to regenerate coins so fast and they're going to spend so much money and they're going to they're good at this game they're going to win seasons so like those guys out of the discussion i'm talking about the average consumer the guys the guys that you, you guys are watching you guys watching right now who are no money spent they're they're below 20 they're still in high school even even parents that they, they spend their money on their family that they, they, like they're not madden oriented they're not big gamers like that you guys are the ones that can't afford to be always regenerating coins like that so I'm telling you, you buy a full base league team right now, and you're going to regret it. Because in a, in a week or so, when we drop the first weekend of Legends, Mutt Superstars, NFL kickoff. Not to mention the season kickoff's not too far around the corner. You do all those things, suddenly all the base leagues have dropped like maybe 10 to 15% of value, but that's that's not bad. But if you have a whole team, they all drop 15%, you lost a, you lost a ton. A ton of coins. That is why if you guys see, like, my team's not stacked. Yeah, yes, I've been locked out for a few days, which may be limited some of that, but... My team's not stacked. I have the coins. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because these team diamonds are also kind of expensive because they're the best cards in the game. Give it a few days. Let the And the launch comes out tonight. Launch bundle tonight, guys. If you want coins, at midnight tonight, when the, when the full game launches and stuff and the bundles come out, make sure to be on the block tonight. That is when you can pick up some cards. Those are some good investments. Do I think you should keep them? Maybe not. Hold on to them for like a few days. Let the value come back up and sell them. But guys, that is one of the things you can do tonight at midnight when the game drops. And all, the, all the Christmas noobs or launch day noobs come on and they're all playing and they haven't had the game yet. They're opening packs. We're opening packs. Just a big pack bang real quick. Go ahead and just pick up some cards when they go on the block. They'll be flying off the block. But yeah, just in my opinion, just never invest in the, in the week one. Now, yeah, some are fine. Like I picked up like I have like Chris Jones. He's a solid defensive tackle. I'll have like, I have my Lamar, but he's my quarterback. Um, maybe a good running back, but like a good running back. Saquon Barkley, Dalvin Cook is what I'm using right now. I keep, they get the job done, but they don't cost what McCaffrey costs. They're 30K. It's a much better value. And they're almost the same speed. And then in a few weeks or a week, when the new Mark Allen drops or Mutt Superstar Zeke drops, I'm like, yep, that's the one. I'll rock with him for a month. You know what I'm saying? And I don't lose much value on that because those are newer, uh, newer promo running backs. But yeah, no, I never really mess with base elites the first week or so. Again, I know it's fun. I know it's fun to have them. But what do we do the first week? We play solos and solo battles. There's no weekend league even yet. So all that's offline. It doesn't really pay to have a great team yet. Now, do you play season jazz? But season people are trash right now. I've been winning with my 81 team just fine. Now, yeah, you can pick up a few players. I just don't think I understand I'm the same way. You guys want to pick up a team right now and be like, you need every position. You want to hop in with an 86 overall and just make people sweat. I know. But they sweat, but then in a week, you're sweating when your whole team lost value. Now, guys, I'm not saying don't buy cards. Like I said, good value, go for it. Pull the trigger. I'm just saying, let the first promo drop. Let us see the direction of this game. Right now, we don't know where this game's going to take us. Like, could this be the year of heavy wide receivers? Could this be the year? Like, last year, we got a ton of running backs. A ton of running backs. There were so many running backs. Now, yeah, as later in the year, Bo Jackson just took over all of them. We had a ton of running backs. We had, like, the Portis. We had the... um. The Saquon's that superstar Todd Gurley for a little bit. We had a uh, oh my god, I'm blanking right now. That running back for the for the Packers. So many running backs. Gale Sayers with Cam. So it was like it was running back after running back after running back. You never really knew which one to pick up. Like they were all kind of really good. So is this year gonna be the year of the running back? We're like okay, uh, I shouldn't have invested in McCaffrey. Bad bad time to train him. That's why I haven't powered up cards either, guys. First off, power is super expensive. If anything, invest in power ups. And second, I haven't really used them because training's expensive. Powering up, in my opinion, you don't know where this game's gonna go. Superstars could bring about much superstars promo or kickoff could bring about like three stud wide receivers. Suddenly Devonta Adams, Julio Jones, Michael Thomas, and all these guys are useless. And you power them up already, and now you don't want them anymore. Same thing with tight ends. Now tight ends are looking a little weak. They're always a little weak, so I'm not too concerned about them. You know, we just have to find out the direction this game's going to be going, and that is precisely why I haven't touched anything. But guys, that's my best advice I can give you with coins. Um stack your coins right now. Again, my, my, my three tips for success right now stack your coins to the greatest extent you can get every last drip of solo challenge and maximum level coin once you're done with that that's when you worry about your team me i'm not maximum level yet i haven't got to do it i'm not touching my coins haven't bought a single card have not bought a single card in this auction block not once 
I'm going to stack my coins. I'm going to finish my my level, finish my solos, reassess what I got. Two million coins, good to know. That can get me maybe maybe even a berry. Maybe I want myself a berry because that's I'm one of he's one of my biggest. I'm one of the biggest fanboys of Barry Sanders ever. So maybe I do that. But for the most part, stack drip every last like it's literally like guys like squeezing an orange. Just get everything out of it, and then when you're done, reassess. You need to go to my sponsor and buy some coins. You need, you are you pack. I need to buy packs. You need to go ahead and sell your coins because you just like to play the game to re resell, make a profit. You reassess at that point. But definitely wait, guys. We should have much superstars dropping. I mean, maybe tonight at midnight. Like quite honestly, last year it dropped at midnight last year. So just wait. Give it a few days. Enjoy. But guys, about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below. Can we get this video to 200 likes? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know below how many coins you guys have, what your coin stack looking like. And that's about it, guys. Use code pool at mutreserve.com. I'm out. Peace.